and earth signs. How are you? All right, so this is a timeless energy reading. I do these every week, so if you're new to the channel, you can expect these weekly, but they really are timeless. So um, whenever you find the, the reading is when it's meant for you, okay? Um, all right, so also don't forget to check out your sun, moon, Venus, and rising signs. Um, and your North Node, if you're particularly interested in spiritual path and life purpose. What else? What else? Don't forget to use your own intuition. Okay, so if this reading resonates with you, then it's for you. If it doesn't, then it's not. All right. Co-creating together here. All right, Earth signs. Let's see what we got. Between, whoops, between worlds. <laughs> Yang. Chaos and conflict. Okay. Okay, so our signs are making some disruptive changes. Transition, like it's like you just recently made a transition from one life to another, all right? And now you're required to make some decisive actions based on your passion. But this is not without some consequences in your life, all right? So chaos and conflict, these, these actions you're going to take. These actions you're taking may ruffle some feathers in your life, okay? That may be the case. So let's see what the tarot has for us today. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. So I'm going to pull them out and then we'll go through each one together. The Sun. Ten of Pentacles. Five of Wands. The World. Four of Wands. Six of Cups. Keep thinking my like camera's over here. It's over here. <laughs> All right, Page of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Five of Swords. And last but not least, the Queen of Cups. Okay, so I definitely feel like you just went through a transition. So, because our timing card here is the world, so this is the end of a cycle, one cycle and the beginning of a new one, all right? So we're starting a new journey here. The overarching energy of the reading is Page of Pentacles, so you guys are invested in learning new skills. These could be like practical skills, they I mean, yeah, if you're, you're starting like a business or, you know, you're trying to move up in your career, it's like learning practical skills to help you in that development, all right? I love that you guys are showing up as Ace of Wands. So this is new ideas, sparks of creativity. I feel like it's a divine spark as well. So you may be embarking on some new creative endeavors here and you're learning new things in order to really flesh out your skill set, okay? I love to see that, and I do feel like it goes with the Yang, which was in your current position in your Oracle. So Yang is um, forward momentum, right? It's taking action, and they're both fire signs. So I do feel like it's creat creativity-based. Um, you really could be trying to start like a new... Um, creative endeavor, like a new creative business, or even a spiritual business. Um, the situation is the sun, so moving toward your joy, more fire, right? So moving toward your creativity, your joy, getting in touch with your inner child, okay? Some of you may have been doing those journal exercises that I was give, that I given the extendeds, which a lot of those center around like getting in touch with your inner child, all right? Like, what did your child self love to do? Those are good indicators of like, you know, your core interests and life purpose, life path, okay? So the opportunity here is 10 of pentacles. 
So you're really creating um, a stable, financially secure life. Like this is in the, the making, right? Like you're, you're in the process of making this. But know that it's what you're making is not just your prosperity, but it impacts future generations here. Because we also have in the near future, seven of pentacles, which is also investments, like planting the seeds so that tomorrow things blossom and bloom, right? So the work you're doing now is going to not just impact you, but your future generations here, your whole family even right now. I do see Six of Cups in the past here, so we may have had to resolve some issues in the past. I do see Five of Swords, so there could be some relationships that still need some mending or reassessing, okay? There could be people in your life that um, are close to you that kind of take advantage of you and kind of benefit from keeping you in place. Okay, so really sorting out these issues with this person or potentially moving on from that person is needed here. All right, so, and it could be more than one person. It could be like a whole gr group of friends that are totally unsupportive and kind of just use you, all right? Not saying that it definitely <laughs> is, but some of you might be in that situation, right? Um, Sometimes we get mixed up with friendships and romantic relationships where they are codependent on us. So if you are involved in that sort of situation, it's time to reassess those relationships and determine like who is good in your life, who is good for you, who's supportive of you, who wants to see you grow, who wants to see you expand and evolve, and who just wants to see you in place, okay? I do see some conflict here, five of wands. So we also had chaos and conflict in your future. So I really feel like you are going to be assessing these relationships because of, you're evolving. You're, you're like moving on to a new level. And some people are going to be on board with moving with you because you guys are kind of aligned. But a lot of people are not going to be aligned with your journey, right? So this could cause conflict um, in your personal life. But I do want you to know that two future cards, right? We already talked about Seven of Pentacles, but Four of Wands is also in the future. So you're really creating a solid foundation. You're planting seeds for the future, for financial uh, stability and security, for the future for yourself and for your family, okay? So you're, you're setting up these foundations now. All right, so Page of Cups is how you're showing up to others. People really see you doing emotion, the emotional work, okay? So if you've been going to therapy or just trying to uh, shift your mindset to improve your life, right? People are noticing that, all right? That's inspirational to people, to some people, right? We still have others in our life that are not inspired by this. It does not benefit them for you to grow and heal old wounds. But the ones who know, know, right? So outcome though is Queen of Cups. There's no stopping it. You're growing, you're evolving, you're getting in touch with your intuition. You're becoming a more emotionally stable and fulfilled person. Like you're on the path to fulfillment here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chaos and conflict card that was in your future position for your oracle set. It's 33. So let's see here. We have chaos and conflict. Okay, so. I'm a professional. All right, so opposing forces come together to create a turbulent, turbulent atmosphere. But consider the value of chaos that serves you well as you become unmoored by it. Scattered to the wind, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else 
facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood. All right. A reordering of things out of this chaos and conflict, right? So, again, like, reordering, reshuffling up the people that may stick around, reordering, you know, how you do your work, how your daily routine goes, things like that. So, um, I am, if this has resonated with you and you want to continue on with me, there will be a link to the extended in the description. In the extended, we'll take a look at specific blocks and guidance for each earth sign. And I'll probably pull an oracle card or two for journal and journaling exercises that may help you on your journey here. Um, and maybe some affirmations. All right, so that will be the extended. The link is in the description. And I hope to see you there. If not, then I'll see you next time. Take good care, earth signs.